Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri, and today, ah, more rain here in Missouri. And you know what that means. Uh, inside the shop here, taking care of the business side of things. I run a lawn care business. I've been uh, in the business for 20 years here uh, locally. So uh, right now, working on some estimates. If you guys wanna head in here and check things out, uh, I'll show you guys what we use for uh, doing estimates here locally for mowing, a uh, little bit of landscaping, uh, vent track work, uh, leaf cleanups, everything like that. So let's hit inside the shop, let's get out of the rain, and let's check it out. All right, guys, so just working on uh, a few estimates this morning using the Horizon 360 program. So I've been in the beta stage uh, for Horizon 360 since 2020, so I've been using it since then, still using it today to uh to run the business so i'm inside the estimates dashboard i'm going to show you guys a little closer look of what horizon 360 offers and a few features that uh really help out when you go to uh, make those estimates so check it out okay i'm in my horizon 360 dashboard you'll have a list of employees your crews over here we'll scroll down on the left side go to estimates I'm gonna go ahead and click Add Estimate. Once you're inside the estimating tool, you can select your customer type. Is it an existing customer or a new lead? Also, you can select the type of residential or commercial. For this one, it's gonna be a new lead. It's gonna be a commercial account. We're gonna type in the business name. We're gonna type in the name of the customer. Enter in their phone number, email address, and then we're gonna put the street address in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save. Now we're gonna go ahead and name the estimate. It's gonna be MCN mowing. Now if we look up here at the map, it'll give us a good idea of the business that's wanting an estimate. So here is the business, pretty big business, pretty big area to mow. We're gonna go ahead and select the areas where there is grass that will need to be mowed. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just dropping pins along the grass areas that will need to be mowed and once I do this, it's going to give me a good estimate of how many square feet this area is. And that way we'll know how about how long it's going to take us to get this area right here mowed. So I have all this selected right here. I'm going to scroll down and it will show me how many square feet. So about 208,000 square feet for this area. We're going to name this boundary. And then we're going to go ahead and look at this map again. Are there any other areas on this particular property that need to be mowed? And the answer is yes, there's a lot. So we're going to go ahead and select this area right here as well. Because that will need to be mowed. So we're going to go down, add another polygon. That's going to give us the option... to add more square footage to this estimate. So I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Go through here and highlight the areas or drop pins on the area of grass that will need to be mowed. And you can get as detailed with this as you want or you can simply get a rough estimate of how much square footage you have here. So this second area is highlighted. We have the first area down here that we did first. Second area is highlighted. Now if you just scroll back down, 
you're going to get, be given the option to add the second area or subtract the second area. So if I were to subtract the first area from the second area, it would show me the square footage, but we want to add those two particular areas so we know how much total square footage. So if we add the two together, we can see down here, it's going to be about 351,000 square feet. So that would give us a good idea of how much acreage that is and how much grass we have to mow and how much time it will take. So we have those two areas selected. I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom. You can enter in your labor expense. Say you have uh, guys working for you, you're paying them $15 an hour. You got three guys on the crew. That will give you an idea of how much labor expense you're going to have. I don't know. Throw, throw some numbers out there, but say it's going to take an hour. It's going to cost about $45 just in labor to knock out this lawn. So with that being said, we can scroll back up to the top and we can get a good idea of how much we need to make on this property in order to be profitable. I mean, your numbers are going to be different than mine. Uh, the other guy is going to be different than, than uh, you, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw a number out here just for fun. Service type is going to be mowing. Price is going to be 250 so now we have a service type, now we have a price, now we can get a good idea of how much profit we'll make on this particular job. If you subtract the labor from the service price, you get a good idea of how much profit you'll make. Of course, you want to subtract your overhead and your fuel expense as well, but just showing you real quick how quick it is and how easy it is to create an estimate inside the Horizon 360 program. Now I have all my lead information right here. I have the business name, the name of the customer that I need to contact, the phone number, email, and here's a highlighted area of the property that we're going to be taking care of. So if you want to download the PDF, you can download that as well. But in order to create estimates inside Horizon 360, it's super easy, super simple. We can simply click another estimate. We'll go ahead and click a or type in a business name. I'm just showing you guys what this program is capable of doing. So once we put in the business name, customer name, phone number, email address, and then the physical address, and we save, it's going to take us back to that same location, but we're going to do an estimate on a different property. So kind of in the same area right here. But instead, we're going to create an estimate for this particular property right here. And I'm going to show you another way to do this. So if we want to just select this area right here, this is the entire property on this particular business. So we have the whole entire property selected. Now, we're going to go down here and name this. So the total property is about 964,000 square feet. Now, if we want to add another polygon, and I'll show you what I was talking about earlier, we can subtract a certain area. So let's subtract the building. So we're going to go back up here and subtract the area where the building is at. This is kind of a different way to go about providing estimates on this Horizon 360 program. So now that we have this area selected, the program is going to know to subtract that area from the entire property. So now we're down to 776,000 square feet. Say we want to add another area and subtract that as well. We can do that too. Subtract the parking lot area. So here's the parking lot. We're going to subtract the parking lot as well. 
And then once we have the total area of the property and we subtract the parking lot and building, it'll give us a good idea of how much lawn we'll actually be mowing. So there's different ways around this or different ways to do this. 718,000 square feet. Same thing with this. Maybe you're wanting to do an aeration on this property. And then again, um, you'll go down here. You'll select your hourly wage for that employee. One employee, $20 an hour. It's going to take him about three hours. So here is our labor expense of $60. And here is our service price. So that would give us a good idea of how much profit. And I'm just throwing these numbers out there. So there you go. If you're needing a estimating tool, uh, say you're offering uh, fertilization, aeration, overseeding, mowing, uh, a service that you really need to figure out how much square footage you're going to be taking care of in order to provide that service, check out Horizon 360. It has an estimating tool where you can do all of that. You can see what square footage uh, each particular area is on that particular job and then get a good idea of how long it's going to take you to get the job done and then you can uh, add the labor expense in there too figure out how much labor it will take to get the job done and then you'll figure out how much you're going to profit off that particular job so if you're needing an estimating uh, tool to use for your business and you need that square footage and you need to do it quick Horizon 360 is able to do that so Head over to Horizon 360, check it out. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below and you guys can head over there, see what you think of it. Uh, free 90 day trial. If you guys are interested, just use the code in the comments below. So I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you're doing well and I hope you have the best season so far uh, this year. So we'll catch you guys later. And as always, hey, God provides. I know you guys are probably swamped with all those phone calls coming in for the spring rush. A lot of people here, they've been calling for spring cleanups. And I'm like, man, we're, uh, we're gearing up for mowing now. We can't really do a whole lot of spring cleanups. Grass is going to start growing like crazy. And before you know it, we're going to be mowing like crazy. But for right now... Just creating those estimates, getting everything ready to roll, trying to take care of the calls that are coming in. So I know you guys are probably in the same boat, super busy getting those phone calls coming in, probably looking for a better way to do estimates. And I just wanted to show you guys, share with you guys what I'm doing here in Missouri. So you know you're going to get some phone calls coming in. You're gonna get you're gonna give somebody an estimate and you're gonna be like fifty dollars for the mowing. And they're gonna say, is that every two weeks? <laughs> and you're gonna be like, nope, that's every week. So just get in a habit of telling a potential customer, hey, it's gonna be fifty dollars weekly. And then they'll say, Well, what about every two weeks? And then you can come back with, well, every two weeks it'll be, you know, eighty five dollars or ninety dollars or whatever you wanna do. But when you're doing estimates, you're out doing estimates all day long. Don't just throw out there a number. Tell them exactly when you'll mow that for that particular price. Because what will happen is, like I said, you'll say 50 bucks, and they'll think that's every two weeks. They'll say, all right, sounds good. When can you start? I can start tomorrow, you know. All right, we'll mow it tomorrow, and then uh, come back again in a couple weeks. And you're like, what? Hold on here. I meant... $50 every week. So make sure you're clear, make sure you're up front, and make sure you communicate well with your customers on uh, on pricing, man, because it can, make sure you have it all wrote down too. If not, you don't want to start off on the wrong foot. Especially at the beginning of the season, man. All right, guys, time to get off here. Make some phone calls, see if we can get some jobs lined up. I'm out of here.